Ah, uh, so we're still in the process of installing it. Ah, and that's what that looked like. There's two old people sitting there. Easier to get help for, uh, for old people. You know, that's what bothers me, is when you first install Windows 98, like when you put the disk in and boot it from CD, it doesn't show this. And this is really nice, like, this is what I call a good Windows operating system. I love just updating it. So, my plans are, for this, is to upgrade, well not upgrade, um, is to buy a burnable disc, because I have 150 bucks in my wallet right now, and just go out to the store and buy some burnable discs and make some copies of this. I need to make copies of a couple operating systems. I have Windows 98 Second Edition, which is this disc that's in there, because it has a big crack on it. Especially when it's going to the disc image, I'm surprised it's even reading it. And the other one is uh, Windows XP Service Pack 3. Because that, it took me forever to find, and like heck, it's awesome getting free updates. You don't even have to activate it or anything. You don't need to make it genuine. So I need to make copies of Windows XP and copies of this CD. Because if they're broken, they're gone forever. You know, like that's it. They're over and done with. So, yeah. Um, I'm also trying to think. I'm probably going to go out and buy um, a Windows 2000 network card for um, my chunky laptop. Because I might consider installing Windows 2000 on it. I haven't de decided completely yet, but I'm thinking about it. And, um... I might possibly, um... find a USB wireless, um, stick for... that's designed for Windows 2000 or something. Because I have the Dell Latitude XPI, which has that cute little trackball on it. I have the one, two, three, I have the three IBM ThinkPads. The fourth one, well, it's just a spare part one because the board inside is dead. And I have the Toshiba, and the Toshiba runs Windows 95, and I would like to get a network card for it. Um, I, uh don't really have any network cards available. The only ones that I do have is a something instruments. It's not Texas Instruments, it's something else instruments. But every time when I try to connect to a wireless network it just freezes on the spot like it just stops right there. And that's it. It doesn't do anything. I tried it on my chunky laptop. It said it found my wireless network. I tried to connect to it and it just froze, like it didn't do anything, and when I unplugged the card, everything went back to normal. So, that was a stupid idea for me, I didn't, I can't believe I actually bought it. So, right now, I'm just waiting for this thing to finish installing, and we keep getting some more pictures showing up here. Um... And yeah, so I'll be uh, recording again when this whole whole thing is done. I can't wait for it to finish because I am too tired. Okay, so now we're moving on to the last part of the setup, setting up hardware and finalizing settings. Now I know what you guys are saying. Whatever happened to the the clouds and the blue sky color? Well, once you restart the computer, that goes away. But but if you hear that noise, like that ruffling sound in the background, that ruffling noise in the background is actually the sound system. And the sound is still installed, so it's just updating. 
Um, it still has color and everything. It's just that. That's just the setup color. So after when this is all done installing, we're gonna get all our color and sound back. This is just temporarily, like I don't have to install the sound stuff again because it's already installed on first edition and it's gonna be installed on second edition. So stay tuned until um, this is done. And we're done. It's all done. We got our lovely sexy color back. Oh, love the color. And my flat screen blacks out. Damn. Pinhead. So we got our color. We got our sound. We got our stupid little window symbol. Windows 98 Second Edition is installed. Oh god, I gotta put some oil on that chair. Um, so, Windows 98 Second Edition is now installed. Like I said, we got the color and stuff. Oh, and also, every time when you install an operating system on this computer, and when you install the sound driver, for some reason the microphone option is always enabled. So in order to stop that, that weird gruffling noise is to mute it and it stops. It took me a long time to figure out what the hell the problem was. Now if you want louder sound you have to mute the CD drive so you mute that. So here let me play the oh, fucking You're killing me here. Oh, that's going to get annoying. Okay, so... I'll show you an example. So if I unmute the CD drive... Oh, okay. Never mind, that only does that on Windows 98. First edition, I guess. Because normally when you mute the CD drive, the sound is louder, but that only works on Windows 98 uh, first edition. Never mind. Because I always do that. I'm going to... Oh, you're killing me here. You're not being fair. I garbage picked you. I saved you from the stupid bastards who almost uh, tossed you in the truck. At least I should get something from that. Well, I recognize the keys. Okay, so start. Done. I think there's a log off thing on here, is there? Oh, no, there isn't. Okay. Shut down. And we're done. Voila. Now I gotta put all that crap back together and hopefully she'll last longer. My plans are for this computer is to put a redneck fan inside the machine to keep it cooled. Because that one fan back there, it does work, but I don't think it's cooling it down enough. So I'm probably gonna find a spare fan lying around, just put it in there. <laughs> 